Computer as Information and Communication Technology. Today we will discuss about the role of computers in education, computer-assisted instruction, and information communications technology or ICT. In the Educational Technology Course 1, the role of computer in education was well discussed. However, we will try to take a look at what computer is all about from American Heritage Dictionary. Computer is a device that computes a specially programmable electronic machine that performs high-speed mathematical or logical operations or that assembles, stores, correlates, or otherwise processes information. It was pointed out that the advent of the computer is recognized as the third revolution in education. The first was the invention of the printing press, second was the introduction of the libraries, and the third was the invention of the computer. Especially with the advent of the microcomputer in 1975, thus emerged the computer technology in education. The educators saw the amplification of learning along computer literacy. Much like reading, the modern student can now interact with computer messages, even respond to questions or computer commands. Again, like writing, the learner can form messages using computer language or program. Soon, computer-assisted instruction, or CAI, was introduced using the principle of individualized learning through a positive climate that includes regalism and appeal with drill exercises that uses color, music, and animation. But the evolving pace of innovation in today's information age is so dynamic that within the first decade of the 21st century, computer technology and education Education has matured to transform into an educative information and communication technology in education or ICT. ICT and education. First is communication media and second is the audiovisual media. Communication media refers to the means of delivering and receiving data or information. In telecommunications, these means are transmission and storage tools or channels for data storage and transmission, such as email, chat rooms, blog sites, news services, music, video, and TV room. Audiovisual media, on the other hand, less commonly known as audiovisual, means possessing both a sound and a visual component, such as a slide tape presentation, films, television programs, church services, and PowerPoint presentation. Until the 1990s, it was still possible to distinguish between instructional media and the educational communication media. The personal computer as, uh, as ICT or information communications technology is being used to communicate and to create, disseminate, store and manage information. These includes computers, the internet, broadcasting technologies such as radio and television, and telephony. Instructional media consists of audiovisual aids that serve to enhance and enrich the teaching learning process. Examples are the blackboard, photo, film, and video. On the other hand, we have the educational communication media, comprised the media of communication to audiences, including learners using the print, film, radio, television or satellite means of communication. For example, uh, distance learning were implemented using correspondence, radio, television or the computer satellite system. 
close to the turn of the 21st century. However, such a distinction merged owing to the advent of the microprocessor, also known as the personal computer. Now, there are programs normally installed in an ordinary personal computer that will be presented in the next slides. To illustrate, let's examine the programs normally installed in an ordinary modern PC. We have the Microsoft Office, consists of Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Outlook, and uh, these are files being used for composing text, graphics, photos into letters, articles and reports. PowerPoint are used for preparing lecture presentation and Excel is used for spreadsheets and similar graphic sheets. As well as we have Google or Yahoo. These are the websites, email, chat rooms, blog sites, and news services such as print and video and educational software. And lastly, we have as well Internet Explorer. This gives way to us to access to the Internet world. CT and education. First is communication media and second is the audiovisual media. Communication media refers to the means of delivering and receiving data or information. In telecommunications, these means are transmission and storage tools or channels. two programs normally installed in an ordinary PC are the Game House and the Microsoft Windows Media Player. Game House consists of different video games and lastly Microsoft Windows Media Player is used for editing film and video. Visit these websites and links indicated on this slide. Thank you so much for listening and you have a great one.